All right, rolling. Hey guys, it's Danny from Superior Trampoline Manufacturing here with a video uh, tutorial on how to measure your trampoline mat. So the first two measurements that we're gonna be talking about are length and width, of, including, including the safety flaps of your mat. This is the material that's beyond, beyond the D-rings. Uh, when you do this, um, please imagine this entire thing is sprung. I want, I want the bed under tension. Don't take this mat out. Uh, all measurements are to be taken with the springs in place. Have someone help you um, measuring uh, from one side to the other to be as accurate as possible, even up to an eighth inch if you can. Um, but like I said, for length and width, this is for number one and number two on, on your measuring guide. All, all the way across, get that as accurate as you can. Number three, we're gonna be taking uh, a similar measurement, but instead of from total outside to outside, this is, we're gonna be measuring the, from D-ring to D-ring. Important note, we're talking about the inside of the D-ring. So right where the, the spring attached and holds, boom, I want you to hold it right there. And then once again, have someone help you all the way down on that side. So for number three and four, the length and the width from inside of D-ring to inside of D-ring. Number five, uh, does your mat have a webbing, a decorative border? This, this is the webbing, this is that decorative border. It looks really cool. It's also for safety to make sure um, that your jumpers are, are jumping within, uh, within that border. This happens to be yellow. Um, please designate it on your sheet if, if your mats in fact do have a, a border. Safety flaps. Um, these are the safety flaps. Once again, these go beyond uh, your D-rings. They kind of rest over the springs. Um, and let's take a measurement all the way uh, from where the, your D-rings are sewed in. So these are about 12 and a half inches. So make sure uh, you delineate which, which width uh, of the safety flaps that we have. Um, number seven, do you have Velcro attached to the safety flaps? These do have Velcro. Uh, this is a loop side. The soft side is loop. If it's hook, it's the scratchy side, so make sure you're, you're specific so we get the right kind of Velcro on your safety flaps. Um, another point to note, uh, is it on the top side or, or, or bottom side? So this is actually the bottom side because this is, you jump on this part of the mat, so this is upside down, this is facing down, so make sure uh, you include which side they're supposed to go on. Uh, let's see here, number eight, do they have grommets? Grommets are the circular holes. This this trampoline mat doesn't, but they'll be punched out typically at the perimeter here. Um, we also need a, a a spacing measurement between them. If it in fact does have have grommets along that outside border, make sure we're going from the inside. If there's a circular grommet here, I want you to find that midpoint. Once again, have someone help you from midpoint to midpoint. What is that measurement? to make sure we get enough uh, grommets all the way, all the way across the mat. And then let's see here, lastly, number nine, um, does it have D-rings uh, in the corner? These are D-rings. There are no D-rings on the safety flaps. So you would say no in, in this case, but some of some safety flaps do. So make sure um, you include that if you do want uh, D-rings on your safety flaps. And if there is, uh, give us the appropriate spacing on the rings. So that's, that's numbers one through nine. Uh, once again, always have someone help you with the, with the measurements. You can always give us a, a call or text if you need help with any of these. Um, but be as detailed as you possibly can and have someone help you. Thanks, guys.